one mistake that students have quite often is they can't distinguish between an expression and an equation and they have two totally different solution processes. So this problem is asking us to identify whether it is an equation or an expression and then either solve or simplify accordingly. In problem 1a we notice there is no equal sign therefore this is an expression. Since it is an expression we then want to in this case foil the two binomials together. This will give us 6x squared plus 2x minus 15x minus 5 and the middle terms can be combined together so we will have 6x squared minus 13x minus 5. Part B has the same two binomials but there's an equals 0 at the end so this is an equation and the directions would be to solve. So we're going to use the zero product property and write 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 or 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. Solving these two linear equations separately we have x is equal to 5 halves or x is equal to negative 1 third and the solution set contains those two values. In this next problem, we begin with an equation because we see an equal sign. And since it's an equation, we'd like to clear the fractions by multiplying through by the least common denominator of the given denominators, and that will be 3 times x minus 2 that we're going to distribute through on both sides. On the left, the x minus 2's cancel, so you have x times 3, giving us 3x plus in the middle the threes are going to cancel leaving 2 times x minus 2 equals the right hand side which had a 2 up in the numerator it gets multiplied by a 3 and the denominators disappear so let's do some distribution on the left we're going to have 3x plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 6 combining like terms we have 5x Let's bring the 4 to the right hand side and say 5x is equal to 10 and therefore x is equal to 2. A very common mistake is to stop here. But if you check that 2, it is not part of the domain of the problem. 2 minus 2 is 0 and we cannot have a fraction with a 0 denominator. So that answer needs to be crossed off and our solution set is the empty set or null set whichever one you prefer to write. Using the same exact values we have another problem but this is an expression instead. Now what's important here is that we do not multiply through by the least common denominator. Instead we want to keep that common denominator. Keep the 3 times x minus 2 in the denominator. The first fraction had an x up in the numerator to go from x minus 2 to 3 times x minus 2, the denominator was multiplied by 3, so the numerator is going to get multiplied by 3. In the second fraction, we had a 2 in the numerator. It needs to be multiplied by x minus 2. And then we've got a minus 2 in the third fraction, which needs to be multiplied through by 3. Let's simplify this numerator. We're going to have 3x plus 4x minus 4 minus 6 all over our 3 times x minus 2. We will then combine like terms up in the numerator. This will be, oops, this should be a 2x up on the line above. This will be 5x minus 10 over 3 times x minus 2. We now see that a 5 will factor out and we'll have x minus 2 left over. And we can cancel the common factors of x minus 2 and say that this expression is equal to 5 thirds.